In this video, Senior Sergeant Trevor Bennett and Senior Constable Stephen Simons from the Queensland Police answer some questions about the correct use of speed detection equipment. How do you minimise the errors in your measurements to make sure they're accurate? So each device is tested when it's deployed and it's ensured that it's operating as per the manufacturer's requirements. Every 12 months, each device is calibrated at our laboratory to ensure that it's still pro producing consistent and accurate results. What are the degree of error in these measurements? The manufacturer outlines that the device is um, capable of being able to provide accurate results be between plus and minus two kilometres per hour. However, that's the, the specifications that they've placed on it. When the device is um, calibrated at our laboratory, the um, errors that come back from the, the testing uh, are less than one kilometre per hour. So the manufacturer specifications are quite large compared to what the actual results are. Yep. How has the tolerance, the uncertainty of these <coughs> results changed in recent years? The tolerance of the device is set by the manufacturer um, and that tolerance is plus or minus two kilometres per hour and when we calibrate on a 12 monthly basis we have that two kilometre an hour tolerance to look at and so when it gets calibrated it has to be calibrated to ensure that the results that it's producing are within that plus or minus two kilometres per hour. What complications do police officers face when using speed cameras? Well there's two components of a speed camera, there's the speed and then there's a the camera. The biggest problem we have is the camera with the natural light of the surrounding environment so uh, typically they operate anytime 24 7 so during the dark obviously we have a flash to assist with the identification of the vehicle but during the day the sun can be uh, quite difficult to deal with not impossible but just adds to the, to the difficulty these devices can be used 24 7 in the pouring rain the the heat of the day they'll still work so they can be used in uh, all types of weather conditions the Accuracy is not affected by any of the uh, conditions. In some uh, locations throughout Queensland, if it gets outside of the temperature range of the device, the internal circuitry shuts itself down. Normally, um, this doesn't happen as we have the, have the devices inside vehicles. The vehicles are air conditioned so we can actually maintain a temperature that they can work within.